Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Up Recipe Set. I'm Mandy. Today we are making Ji Tang Mi Tai Mu. This is a Taiwanese style chicken rice noodle soup. Very easy to make and super hearty and delicious. Let's get right into it. Here are one and a half tablespoons of dried shrimp and four pieces of dried shiitake mushrooms. I soaked them two hours in advance. Now they are fully rehydrated. Finely diced the dried shrimps. I don't recommend using fresh shrimps as a replacement because they taste completely different. I do have a demo video that showed you how to dehydrate your own shrimps and mushrooms. You can check it out later. Squeeze the water out of the mushrooms and slice them thinly. Dried shiitake mushrooms need to be sauteed to activate the flavor. That's why you have to squeeze the water, otherwise you cannot develop the flavor while stir-frying. Combine the soaking liquid. We will reserve it for the chicken soup later. These are garlic chives. They look like green onions, but the leaves are flat. And they have a garlicky smell. That is how they got the name. Cut them into two inches long pieces. I like to put a handful of bean sprouts in my chicken soup. You don't need to remove the roots as they are edible. Besides that, I have here one tablespoon of minced garlic, one stalk of celery that I diced finely, about a third cups, five shallots that I sliced thinly, roughly about one cup, and one carrot. I peeled it and sliced it into thin rounds. Last, three pieces of boneless and skinless chicken thigh, roughly about one pound. Drizzle in some cooking oil into a clay pot and turn the heat to medium low. Other heavy duty stock pot will also work. We will fry the shallots until golden brown. This is the significant ingredient for Taiwanese cuisine. It provides a strong caramel onion fragrance. In a few minutes, the shallots should be slightly golden on the edge. Add the minced garlic. Garlic burns faster than the shallots, that's why I added a little bit late. Keep stirring for a few more minutes or until the aromatics are completely golden brown. That looks beautiful. Let's add the diced celery, dried shrimp, and the shiitake mushroom slices. Keep stirring for a few minutes to activate the aroma. Season it with one teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoon of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoon of Taiwanese soy paste. These are the brands that I'm using. I'll link them in the description. If you don't have the soy paste, you can use oyster sauce as a replacement. Keep stirring. This is a heavy duty clay pot. It stores lots of heat. So when the soy sauce and the soy paste touch the thick wall, you will see that they're sizzling and caramelizing. That will create a complex flavor, which does make a difference to the taste. Pour in one liter of unsalted chicken stock. Don't forget to add the mushroom and shrimp soaking liquid because it is packed with umami taste. If you are using salted chicken stock, you will have to adjust the saltiness in this recipe. Put on the lid and bring this to a boil. Add the chicken thigh. If you're using bone-in chicken thigh, you can use water instead of chicken stock. If you're not a fan of a dark meat, you can use chicken breast, but you will have to monitor the heat properly so you don't overcook it. Chicken thigh is more forgivable. Turn the heat to low. The chicken thigh needs to be simmered for 20 minutes. During this time, let me talk about the mi tai mu, which is Taiwanese rice noodles. They are made with three parts of rice flour and one part of tapioca flour. 
they have a special texture, what we call the QQ texture, which is like a mixed feeling of bouncy and gelatinous. Very nice. It is quite difficult to find these noodles abroad, but it is very easy to make them at home. You can check the demo video right here. However, this recipe is not limited by the types of noodles. You can use Japanese udon noodles, ramen noodles, even pasta will work. You just have to adjust the cooking time for the noodles depending on what you use. The chicken thigh have been simmered for 20 minutes now. Let's take them out. Add the carrot slices in because the carrot takes a little time to cook. Follow up with the noodles. Keep the heat at medium low as you are working on the chicken thigh. Use two forks to shred the meat into bite-sized pieces. This recipe can also be made with other meat, such as seafood, which you just need a couple of minutes of blanching so you don't overcook them. You can also braise a tough cut of pork or beef in that flavorful broth until tender. This recipe is super versatile. Put the chicken back into the clay pot, along with the garlic chives and the bean sprout. Let it cook for a minute or two, and we're done. Give it a taste to adjust the flavor if needed. Mine was perfect. Let's serve. I like to garnish it with a little bit fried shallot for some crunch. Top some Japanese bonito flakes, which will give you a smoky flavor. Both of them are optional. This noodle soup is still delicious without them. I have been waiting for this the whole day. I didn't spend hours to make my own chicken stock, but it still came out fantastic because the fried shallot is like magic. It makes not only the soup smell good, but also my whole house is filled with fragrance. I love rice noodles. Even though these are so thick and chewy, they feel much lighter than wheat noodles. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Souped Up Recipes Clay Pot. It may sound new to you, but clay pot is a traditional cookware in Chinese cuisine. It has a high heat capacity. The material retains the heat, then redistributes it to the food slowly and evenly. The heavy duty wall allows for better browning, then you can maintain low and slow heat on the stove top or in the oven. I love the blue top and the hammer design. It functions as a beautiful serving piece that keeps the food warm on the table. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Go check it out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.